Hey everybody, Mariko Curry here bringing you part 7 of Let's Play Mega Man Extreme. In the last part, we went to back to Chill Penguin and Spark Mandrel stage to get a heart tank and the X Buster upgrade. And in this part, we are going to continue on to the four Mavericks of hard mode. So let's get this started. No! Where am I? Um... No, this is the wrong place. I would like to exit, please. And I cannot exit. What's going on? I still have all my weapons. I have both my sub-tanks. And all my body parts. What the fuck? Okay. That was a strange noise I made, but also... What is happening? This place... It is familiar. Why am I here? Yeah, for some reason we're back in Highway Central. Or Central Highway. Either way, you, it's still a highway. For some reason we're back in at the first level of the, of the whole entire game. The basic startup level. And we have all our upgrades and weapons. Including our sub-tanks and our heart tanks. Something's not right here. Eh, but what do I know? I'm just a gamer. Anyways. Let's take down these bees again, and I guess we're gonna have to go through the whole entire stage again. Maybe we might get some better answers if we just... ...finish the stage and see what happens. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Central Highway. It's a highway with robots and Mega Man and Mega Man. I I don't know. I don't know what to say right now cuz I mean, it's Central Highway. I pretty much it's just only for for me as a let's player or for any let's player that is. Central Highway is just for you to explain some details about the game and such. Or just talk about what you're going to be doing throughout the Let's Play. So, and I already did, and I already done that, so I don't know what to say right now. All I can say is, Mega Man. But with upgrades! Anyways, blah blah blah, Vile's going to kill you. Even though we're beefed up with powerful weapons. Yep, X doesn't even look back. And with that out of the way, let's go find out what the hell is going on here. Zero, tell me. What's happening? The mother computer which was restored is now not working. I don't believe it. We found illegal access in the mother computer. Someone must have accessed the data secretly. That person has been re is the one, has been repro is the one that's been reproducing the fighting data of the past. In order to fix the mother computer, we will need to fight our enemies again in their data form. Zero, I'll do it. Okay, you handle this. Now look into who is behind this evil plan. Be sure to watch out. Alright, here we go. Back to the Matrix! And yeah, okay, so I guess we just continue on. Alright then. Well, let's start this... Well, let's just start. Alright. Okay then, well I guess we'll consider that our transition to the next four Mavericks. 
Now, now that we defeated the four normal Mavericks from normal mode, pff, I'm sorry, long day today. Now that we defeated the four Mavericks from normal mode, Chill Penguin, Spark Mandrel, Storm Eagle, and Flame Stag, we now have their weapons, uh, their items from their stages, and the sub tanks. And, now that we have the upgrades, as in the helmet upgrade, the leg upgrade, the body upgrade, and, I believe, the buster upgrade, we can now head on to the next four. Alright, so, here we have Wheel Gator, Magna Centipede, Armored Armadillo, and Morphing Moth. Now, unlike, uh, now the thing is, we are going to continue the transition of doing all these robots in order. Usually, uh, I would probably go by their weaknesses. Like, for example, we should actually be going after Armored Armadillo first. But, seeing as we did the first four Mavericks in column order, I guess we should do the same for the next four. So, with that said, let's head on to New York City. Or at least it looks like New York City. It looks more like Toronto. And face Wheel Gator. Alright, here we are at Wheel Gator stage. Basically, Wheel Gator stage is not even a location at all. It's actually more of a stage, as you can say, uh, as I can say. Basically, we're in uh, Wheel Gator's airship. Basically, Wheel Gator is using his me me mechanical tank or airship or whatever to terrorize the town. So basically, eh, I guess you can say it's a ground version of Storm Eagle stage, except we're inside Storm... What I'm trying to say is that we're inside a freaking tank, alright? Anyways, at the beginning of the stage, you can wall jump up here and find another Dr. Light capsule. But these, these Dr. Light capsules have something different. Enter this capsule X. Install the program zero. Scramble Rising. This program will allow you to call your best friend and fellow soldier Zero. His striking power is enormous, but hard to control. Perform this on enemies in the sky, and also, it also works on bosses. Dr. Light, no! No! You do not break the fourth wall! There are no such thing as bosses. They are Mavericks, and they are enemies. This is not a freaking video game. Alright, so after Dr. Light's breaking the fourth wall hour, you get we get introduced to the moving platforms back there. They were only in Mega Man X2, so that's why we haven't seen them yet, seeing as we didn't face... Huh? Well, there was uh, Flame Stag, but I don't think we used those platforms. And now, we get to transition from Sunset? In our ride armor. Now, I like the... Now, even though I think they both have the same amount of screen time, I like the arm... Uh, using the ride armor better in this stage. And what did I just punch? Okay. Probably just like the enemy in... Chill Penguin stage, it was probably just another invisible uh, ride armor enemy due to sprite limitations or whatever. Anyways, right here you can see that we have another sub... I was about to say sub tank. Heart tank. Basically what we want to do here... No, not go there. Controller! What we want to do here... Let's go back in the menu, thank you. Get S burner out. Take out this enemy first, that is. Charge your S burner. Do a little bit of a dash jump and immediately use it as soon as you're about to decrease about to decrease in height. And there we go. We got this we, we got the next heart tank. And as you can see, our health is about to reach the weapon energy level. So just like in Mega Man X1 and X2 and X3 and so forth. 
Our weapon energy is actually our health energy is actually more higher than our weapon energy. Even though in the original Mega Man it was both equal. So I don't know if they're probably uh, trying to give us less energy in our weapons, or I don't know. Maybe it's just different capacity. And here we get to fa face the famous clown knight, Gamil. He just like Zane, seeing as we're on extreme mode, he doesn't have any dialogue. But he did have dialogue in hard mode, and I guess a little bit in no uh, in normal mode. But basically, what he does is just throw star boomerangs at you, and eventually, if you leave him alive long enough, he will get in some sort of magic carpet ride or something. I'm trying to see if I can show it off, but it, he's not... he's not responding well. So, just die. Ooh, nice health. Ah, of course, it's always one pixel from perfect. But anyways, with that, we get to skip part part of the stage. I don't know if I'm gonna put in the, the, the rest of the stage into the video, but... Ah, I don't think I have to. With that done with, we now are outside at night. The trend. I don't know if X is just moving slowly or just time is moving really fast. But we've we've gone from daytime to sunset and nighttime like that. We actually want to get back here. Should be something. Eh, just some health. Actually, it would have been better if I got some uh, if I have my health full before I come over here. Because here, we can get a nice little surprise added to our sub-tank. But with that done with... That. 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 Not that. Ugh. Alright. With that done with, we want to do here is I want to show off the zero abilities. Basically, after you find a certain Dr. Light capsule... Capsule. Oh god, what's wrong with my voice? As soon as you get a Dr. Light capsule that gives you a zero item, basically a little Z icon will appear in your menu. If you select it, it will take you to a different menu. As you can see, there's only four slots, so there's only four abilities. As, well, we only have four Mavericks left. Basically, what they do is that they summon zero to do a special attack. In this case, we have zero number two, Rising. Basically, what it does is... Basically, Zero shows up and uppercuts anybody that's in front of you right now. Remember, you have to face the exact direction where your enemy is, and, depending on what type of Zero attack you're using, the distance from him. So, let's show off uh, Z Rising Zero. Before I do, as you notice at the top of the menu, you can see your health, but also a weapon bar. Basically, what's uh, here is that Zero's abilities are also have a certain amount of energy to use. Uh, the energy, the amount of energy also goes for all the other uh, Zero abilities. So you can't just use one and one all uh, completely and then just move on to the next special ability. They all share the same one. Not only that, but they cannot be refilled until you leave the stage, complete the stage, or just pretty much start over. Anyways, let's show it off. Did that kill him? Actually, yeah, I did. I was about to select it again, because sometimes it doesn't really kill all the, uh, kill it completely. But yeah, that's what happens. Zero shows up, uppercuts the crap out of him, and boom. And now here, we have Wheel Gator. Now, I gotta say, this guy is much more harder now in, uh, in extreme, uh, Mega Man Extreme, that is. Not in extreme mode, but you, you get what I mean. In X2, he was much more easier. Like, for one, he, I don't think he had the ability to shoot, uh, projectiles at you when the we when the spin wheels are out. Because, I mean, if he did, I would probably remember that from Mega Man X2. And if I, and if you prove me wrong and tell me that he could do that, then, well, I'm a complete idiot. Don't tell me that, because then I'll come to your house and beat the crap out of you. But anyways, 
Whoop. Okay, my control is getting a little messed up. Let's jump and fail. Whoa, that's a close one. And that's another thing, he also has the ability to to be invincible, but unlike Chill Penguin where it's just at a moment where it's not needed, uh, Wheel Gator's invincibility shows up when he's laughing at you, or just, I guess, barking at you. Because he's just opening his mouth like, ha ah, ah, ha like Nelson from Simpsons. He also has that s actually, that's actually a pretty cool move, but he has that s uh, spin attack move. Where he pretty much floats in mid-air and then turns into a tornado missile. It's inv it, He's invincible when he does that, but that is understandable. Whoa. Oh, I, I actually dodged that pretty good. But with that done with, we finally defeated Wheel Gator. Ugh. Yeah, I did it. And with that, we get... Spin wheel. Take the S off the freaking spin and you'll get pinwheel. Anyways, with that done with. Ugh. Well, at least we, we can look forward to having new types of torture. But at least in at least in the next part we'll head off to a, another favorite stage of mine. So, next time... So, if you like this part, subscribe to my... Uh, subscribe to my channel. White little button. Give me a good thumbs up review down below this video, and... Check out my other parts if you like this one. In the next part, we are going off to... I think the laboratory. To face on Magna Centipede. I will see you guys next time.